Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 13, Thoughts. This episode was called Boom, in capital letters. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, quite like the, you know, Coulson talks about a voice in my head and Mac is like, I assume you're not talking about me? And, yeah, we meet Agnes, and, yeah, pretty clear that, you know, she was the one that inspired Holden for the LMD. <laughs> the problem before was that the framework allowed, you know, it, it was possible for May to find the edge, but now we've created an entire world and the world is round, no edges. And yeah, Ada is still, you know, the, the watchdogs still really don't like Ada, don't you know, because she's not in the traditional sense human. I'm guessing there will be a payoff to that, that eventually she'll be like, okay, enough, and turn on them. And <laughs> yeah, so uh, Anton just read, you know, at least the read a little of the of the dark hole, despite being told specifically not to. And yeah, the, the, I like, whole, you know, Holden talking about Hive, like, you know, I, there was a pre prior employer, and his goal was the exact opposite of yours. <laughs> but yeah, he, he fixed the, the crystal, so now it doesn't hurt non-inhuman humans. And, but it does still turn inhumans. Inhuman eggs into inhumans. And yeah, so the test results came back. And yeah, the, the outlook is both leak. Very, very lethal. And, you know, that makes it all the more heroic when near the end of the episode, Mace does take another of the injections to stop the cars of, of Russians. And Fitz shows up, you know, S Simmons goes on this whole thing about, you know, okay, so this will definitely kill you, and he's like, geez, okay, tone it down, and then Fitz comes, great news, that thing that you just found out is going to kill you, we found, you know, I developed a great way for you to get, get it even faster, just, yeah, and, let's see, the... Yeah, I love the, the reference to Avengers 1 where Coulson points out, yeah, you know, once the Avengers joined, I, I was like, okay, how do I, how am I, how do I matter? There's, you know, superhumans and gods and the, the one god and such. And, uh, um, sorry, that came across as me saying that Thor is the one true god. I'm not saying that, like, oh, Thor exists and Jesus Christ doesn't. Obviously, if you, you know, if you believe that Jesus exists, then for you, he exists. I'm just saying, your God was crucified, my God carries a hammer. And then we have the, yeah, Coulson tries to, to talk Agnes into it, and it is, yeah, you can really understand why she's so reluctant and yeah, very, very compelling when when Tuckler, you know, releases gas. He figures that Ellen is one, and this is one, of, of course, one of those things. You know, there are a lot of bigots who will target even just people who are near the the minority that they target, even if they're not necessarily a member themselves. The you know, guilty by association. I quite appreciate how the, the show is showing, the, you know, like, even if you say, oh, well, you know, at least, you know, the, oh, the Inhumans are dangerous, well, you know, there's, it's a slippery slope. Once, you know, that's one of the few cases where it's a slip, where it actually is a slippery slope. You know, once you start hating someone, that hate just spreads. You know, the hate will never make you feel better. And, yeah, turns out he, you know, Tucker was... Inhuman, and 
did not know it and you know yeah that again you know the, there are a number of bigots who end up realizing that they actually you know maybe they it's not always themselves but maybe it's someone that they care about that actually maybe they are um you know member of the minority community or you know they you know have sympathies for them or the like and yeah then you know at, at that point it's either do you double down or do you you know ab abandon the hate and you know sadly a lot of people do to double down it reminded me of that there's there's this clip i forget if it if it went viral or there was someone saying it should go but but there was this clip years back where a white guy who i believe was straight up a white supremacist which you know not all of us are not every white guy is and you know he got like his dna checked and turned out there was a certain percentage of you know the the 23 me thing yeah some percentage was you know african and he freaked out and you know some some african americans were really eating up his his freak out like in in person you know the and and i mean i'm guessing he agreed to that because he felt confident that you know that percentage must be zero there was no way that he has any african ancestry and yeah uh, agnes you know talks about radcliffe cannot cope with failure and you know she's she's dying and and mac you know says and, and yeah she explains you know a, a brain tumor and it's in fact in a place where it's completely inoperable and and mac is like i'm i'm sorry i shouldn't have put it there i don't know it just sounds weird to me when people say i'm sorry like you can offer your condolences, but saying I'm sorry implies fault. Anyway, yeah, she and and she's like, you know, I, I'm sick and tired of people, you know, saying, oh, I'm so sorry when they hear that. So, <laughs> great, now I'm the mascot. And, yeah, Mac, as usual, you know, delivering the truth even when people don't want to hear it but when they need to hear it <laughs> we can go old school like we did at our old school <laughs> i appreciate that because as someone who shares that trait with her she is too white to unironically use the term old school and then we have the uh, yeah you know tucker goes back to to Anton and lies about who who blew up who and yeah you know he says I you are my superior that's all I needed to hear you know? and that's also I don't I think I got that wrong I, I think when I did my video yesterday I thought that Anton was also working for the superior but no Anton is the superior see I still have to I'm, I'm still getting readjusted to the fact that this show actually just says no this this is the villain this is the the central villain you know there's yeah in in years of watching alias and lost and such i just got used to oh well there's another link in the chain where i guess we're in maybe we're never going to find out who is at the top of of this hierarchy but yeah and <laughs> i like that you know colson tells agnes you know so i was gonna you know try to try to strong arm you into this thought of some pretty good material and yeah she does agree and sends the the private message and he goes to to see her and and ada sees agnes on the you know a, a picture of agnes and again you know i, I really props to, to actress Mallory Jansen. She did, you know, continuing to deliver such an excellent performance. Right, and apparently she is, she's Australian British, and yeah, raised in Melbourne. So, 
the yeah the Australian accent might actually be her like the the uh, what's the word um her original accent and she's you know she Does. But fantastic acting, she, you know, there's these little reactions in, in Ada's face, you know, she is becoming more and more of an individual, less and less of Holden's perfect robot that just does, and you know, whatever he wants it to, and yeah, she's she's really nailing it, it's, it's very, very difficult to convey a lot by only adjusting your, your facial expression a little, you know. It's something we also saw with Kristen Ritter for Jessica Jones and Alakwa Cox for Echo. And... Yeah, um, great when, you know, suddenly Fitzsimmons realizes, you know, oh, it's, you know, what was it called? Selenium. So, you know, there was a, you know, inhuman in there. <gasps> You know, it has. To, it must be Tucker, and and you know they run. Get, you know, he's the bomb. And let's see. Yeah, and they do. Man, they you know everyone participates in in getting him into the the box, and they eject it, and blows up, and then we see him reform. Very cool. And honestly, I'm I'm just so relieved that you know. As we're seeing this like mind blowing thing of like you know a, a brain reforming and, and flesh and skin regrowing, just like truly horrific body horror, really, like existential dread. I'm just so relieved that they didn't show any male nudity. I mean, that would have been completely unacceptable. Seriously, Americans, please get over being so prudish. It's it's. It would be endearing if it wasn't actively causing harm. And, yeah, you know, he, he gets a, a ride, and, you know, the, the guy understandably asks, what happened to your clothes? And, you know, he has to sheepishly admit, well, see, there was this big beefcake who was speaking in an Austrian accent, which I felt was kind of weird. And then we have... Yeah, um... I quite like like Fitzsimmons. You know they're not they're not gonna try to you know just like you can see it in their faces and Daisy can easily read you know it's like it's, it's the the um, they think that she with her powers can do it so they just stand next to her and smile agreeably and it's like okay fine I'll try it's just you know how can you say no to those those eager faces. And if it's very nicely done that, yeah, ultimately she doesn't actually manage to, you know, she, she said from the start, I don't know if I can do this, she doesn't actually manage to do it, then it's game time, and yeah, instead she blows him up several times to exhaust him. And yeah, you know, Holden says, I can save you, I can cure death. And yeah, you know, ultimately, she, yeah, we. it's easy to understand why she does go with, you know, that, yeah. And I quite appreciate, you know, Coulson doesn't give up on me. He's just like, no, listen, this means that... May is still alive. She's the one that's in the framework and where it's working out well. And yeah, the 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 vehicles come in and they're like, it's the Russians. No, it's uh, I believe you'll find it's the penguins. I'll be the blocker. Blocker. I hardly know her. And yeah, you know the the. Daisy points out, you know, they're not coming to help you. To them, you're just a freak like me. And a freak like me needs company. Should I not be making that reference? I haven't actually watched that show. I, I'm pretty sure... I, I haven't done the math, but I, I believe life's too short to, to watch such a 
but I, I appreciate that it's the how how much of a hot mess it was brought some joy to Todd in the Shadows, Lindsay Ellis, and Allison Pregler. And yes, so some IMDb trivia and yeah. Simmons tells Mace you'll never be Captain America in the comics. Jeff Mace did act as Captain America during the period when Steve Rogers was frozen in ice. During preparations for a mission, Daisy utters the frack expletive from Battlestar Galactica. Ada man mentions the Uncanny Valley phenomenon during conversation with Dr. Radcliffe. The Uncanny Valley is an established human reaction to human-like robots defined as the range of negative reaction caused by a robot that appears between barely human and fully human. And the explosion caused by Tucker that killed Ellen the Deer and destroyed the Stamford wing of Capitol Hill is a reference to the explosion caused by the supercriminal Nitro in Stamford in the comics, which ignited the Civil War. An additional connection is the character Shockley, who has the same powers as the comic villain Nitro slash Robert Hunter. Yeah, Mallory Jensen, Ada, gets to use her native Australian accent for her dual role. I'm so glad she's on the show. Like, she's just, they, they really get so much complexity out of her character, and the actress is 100% up to the task of actually delivering. Because can you imagine if she was, like, way over the top? It would be like, why would a robot be like that? No, that doesn't make sense. Holden has, you know, programmed her to have these very, like, I mean, essentially, what we're seeing is that she's feeling a lot. But exp the the but only, we're only seeing micro expressions because she's not supposed to have strong like you know really off putting reactions like unless she's like being shot for example you know that was a thing he did but you know when realizing something like you're not a very good spy if when you realize something that's really devastating if you're like oh my god no you're you know it has to be a small reaction. You know, they, the LMD was made to, to, yeah, be, you know, he specifically said to save S.H.I.E.L.D. agents' lives. You know, she's supposed to function in the field with these micro-reactions. The necklace that Agnes wears and Ada takes is an Ouroboros. This emblem of a snake devouring its own tail represents life, death, and rebirth. Which is, of course, very appropriate because, you know, yeah, she... She was, uh, take, yeah, she still is alive, but she, her body will die. She will be reborn in the framework very nicely done. Like, they could have gone with pretty much anything, but that was very appropriate. And I think that might be about... Yeah, I don't know why, but it's kind of funny. Simmons... You know, yeah, um, Mace goes over, you know, I already went from head coach to quarterback, now you're telling me I'm going to be on the bench for the season, and Simmons goes, sir, and chuckles, I have no doubt you will find your place on the footy squad. <laughs> oh, don't say it like that. And, yeah, someone added, did you just explode, Mr. Shockley? And, let's see. that yeah um i might be able to do an episode tomorrow if not next episode will be thursday looks like shock is back to his old safe already incredible he goes from an explosive gas to a fully functional jackass 